Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Trading Fearless and uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. Thank you for stopping by, watching my videos. I appreciate that. Um, and make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Um, and as always, let's jump right into it. Uh, so we're talking today about market profile, but today's chart is all about the TPO market profile uh, inside Thinkorswim, okay? TPO um, is a little different than just volume profile. This is time and price um, opportunity, right? Profile, meaning it's based off how much time and also how much it, it, how much time has it been at also at what price. So these are the settings, right? There are two different TPOs. One is for the chart, okay, which is a combination of all all this. These are the settings. Okay, and as always, I will put the link down below uh, for you to install this onto your own chart if you like this type of a TPO a market profile chart. Okay, and essentially what this is, is this is the chart and then for each day, right? The red line is the point of control and then the yellow lines over here are value area high, value area low with the point of control. 70% of all trading trades within here, okay? It's a different way to look at market profile. Um, this chart I like to use uh, looking for excess, Okay, and what excess is, is usually an end to an auction type of deal, right? Normally, we want to see a very clean bell-shaped curve, something like this, but we want to see excess down below, excess above, which says, okay, the auction is over and price is balancing and buyers and sellers are accepting price exactly right here for that moment. Okay, so you kind of have excess here, excess down below, and then look at how what price did over the next couple of days. It was accepting price. And then when we look over here, we have the point of control where the most volume has traded. So right now, um, we're looking at a 20-day, 30-minute chart, right? We really have not that, and there's really no excess up above, and there's also no excess down below. Now, remember, as every day goes by, the very last day drops off, so this is always going to be changing um, according to how many um from the last day does it drop off like once this day drops off in this then all of this will be gone and will just be from here over with two additional days so um again it's something that's really cool to see um if price started to fall i would probably look to be a buyer somewhere around these levels right this 2770 level we have balance it's a high volume node Okay, we have a low volume node. So maybe buyers would come in, step here, or if it kept going, maybe we would come down to this low volume node. Let me zoom in, this low volume node right here. And one usually one of two things will happen at a low volume node. It'll come down and bounce, or it'll usually blow right through and then maybe come back and that'll act as a resistance level. Um, it just usually won't trade around this level because very little time and price has traded here while up at the high volume node, you've had a lot of time and price um, trade at the same level for a longer period of time. So with that being said, um, I will leave the link down below. But again, this is a great uh, chart to kind of look at the bigger picture. If price starts to fall, where is the point of control? A lot of times if we start to fall, we would find a support level at the very value area high, maybe a quick trade there. If we came down, went to the point of control, that would be a very high probability type of trade setup for a potential bounce. Okay, so 
Um, I hope this uh, helps you guys in your own trading. Again, I will leave the link to this chart down below so you could have it directly onto your charts. And remember, if we do kind of overshoot the high volume um, node, uh, look for maybe a low volume to look for a secondary type of bounce and then see what it does around those levels. Also look at maybe intraday levels try and find confluence that is the key try and find multiple things that all line up right around the same level just like you have a high volume node here right you have the point of control you have a high volume node he here uh, right down here right and you also have a low volume single print potential so think of these as single prints right so there should be support right around that level just based off that one profile again really good uh way to find support and resistance using market profile so until next time thank you again for watching the videos make sure you like subscribe ask questions comment down below we'll talk to you soon